We got our first look at side weapons in Assassin's Creed Valhalla. They look massive and one version is coming with an upcoming helix pack. Basically the next two helix packs have leaked, giving us a taste of the weapon already, which we can then also get in the Siege of Paris DLC. So a ton to go over. If you are excited for these new weapons, then totally leave a like on the video to show your support and let's go. I'm of course doing a helix credit pack giveaway for 2300 credits, which you can enter via the link in the pinned comment, so then maybe you can win one of these upcoming helix packs the giveaways are only for subscribers of the channel so you have to be subscribed first and good luck i want to thank derpy koala on twitter for sharing footage from a mac moderator link to the channels of everyone i mentioned in this video will by the way be in the video description and the reloads i'll share some footage from better gamer little games gives a look at the weapon and armor sets and damn it looks massive it's of course a two-handed weapon so you will need the heavy dual wielding skill to use it with another weapon like a shield for example but then with the dual swap skill you can of course still use the offhand attack and we see gamer little games swing the weapon around here in the settlement and in combat footage from mag the moderator we see that it also deals some nice damage and that the range is quite good and also that it doesn't cost a lot of stamina. So we will be able to swing this weapon around for quite a long time. And we don't have a lot of area of effect weapons in Valhalla. I only can think of the spear really with the Venge of Thor ability and the swing you do at the end of the light combo. Now this weapon is really about hitting multiple enemies. The regular attacks are great for that. I think this like the heavy attack. And again that offhand attack looks amazing. Very easily hitting multiple enemies. And this particular weapon, by the way, plays around with that. It's called the Moonscut and increases melee damage depending on the number of enemies hit. Up to 3 stacking to 40 melee damage, which is quite a lot. The pack also comes with a shield, which also increases melee damage. But after parrying, kind of similar to the Charlemagne shield we discussed in my previous video. But yeah, problem is, as you might have guessed, you don't really notice melee damage. We can now try it, for example, with the Wayland armor you can get from the River Raids, which adds 20% assassination damage into melee damage. Here, without the armor, I got 130 melee damage. I deal 28 damage on this Pikeman enemy. Now I equip the armor, use a lot of melee buffs from weapons, I go to 197.6 melee damage, but then on the same enemy I still hit 28, and then a little later 31.29. So going back to the scythe, you mostly want it for the look. Like it has this special smoke effect as well, which looks pretty cool, but yeah overall by the point this pack releases, which I think is going to be end of August, early September, we already finished the Caesar Paris DLC, which launches on August 12th. And that DLC should also come with four scythe weapons. Looking at the icons that were already found in the files also by Better. So right now this Moon Scott functions as our first look at this weapon type. Thanks to people who have been hacking the PC version of the game. But we will likely already have a lot of weapons like this from the Siege of Paris DLC. By the point it officially releases. Hey, by the way, see footage right here from Pyrite over on our Discord, which you can join by the way via the link in the pinned comment. And he at one point does the offhand attack, first a shield bearer, and then bam, we get a look at the amazing finisher. It kind of reminds me of the finisher against the enemies with the huge pull arm type weapons, but now you can just do it way more often with your own weapon. Really, really cool. And we also got a brief look at Avor dual wielding two sides thanks to Andy, where we see two of the variants we can likely get in the Siege of Paris DLC, looking less over the top. And yes, Petter is wearing the new Reaper armor right here. If you watched our Siege of Paris trophy video, then you know that there's actually a trophy for killing an enemy with a scythe while wearing the full Reaper armor set. And from the short footage, we see that using two of these weapons at the same time is going to be even stronger as you use both of them to strike. I really can't wait to use them myself. Going back to this new wolf armor set that comes with the sight and shield. It looks kind of cool in this footage that SB Games shared with me, so thanks a lot for that. It is a reskin of the Magister armor set. As you can see, it does have some red touches, the new one, and of course, a new 
wolf hat, which will be awesome to get at Reda. It kind of reminds me of that Lawgiver pack, by the way, from Odyssey. Sure, it's totally different with, like, the wolf on the shoulder instead of, like, being the hat. But still, you totally see that it's kind of the same vibe, right? The perks depend on the time of day in the game. You get speed during day and stealth damage and attack and health when the game is at night. So, like, maybe just wearing two items can be kind of good for that extra speed. But overall, the perks are just meh. And it comes with another new bear mount, a brown one. So that makes me think that we have to wait a bit for this item pack. Because we just had a bear mount with the Charlemagne pack. Now next up is likely the Jormund Gander set that was also leaked. And this is indeed a completely new armor set. And you really see that all the resources went into making this armor set based on the World Serpent. We of course saw the World Serpent in God of War for example. It looks really really cool but once again... Again, the stats are really bad like this might be the worst armor set when it comes out because you take 25% more damage in exchange for melee damage and then you also get extra attack when you fully equip the set but yeah as we discussed before you don't really notice melee damage or attack damage increases so you're basically getting 25% more damage without any reward in exchange this pack also comes with a shield that looks pretty nice but it's also pretty bad just like the one-handed sword yes this will be the first one-handed sword we get in a helix pack called the coil sword also going hard on the increased damage taken, but it totally looks cool. Although, once again, this pack will likely launch either two days before the Siege of Paris DLC on August 10th or the week after that. And in the Siege of Paris DLC, we should also find four new one-handed swords, including that awesome Shoyos we also saw in that new screenshot. I think that's, by the way, good that it's just an extra option to get a new version of the new weapon types. And not that you can only get them through Helix credits. And we can already get the first one and its sword for free right now. Maybe you already got it. Totally check out my video on how to get it. And some really awesome moves you can do with the blade. You can watch that video by clicking on the screen. Subscribe for way more Valhalla content. A like on the video would really help me out. And I will also link to that one and its sword video at the end of our photo mode showcase. If you got awesome shots from the festival or with the sword, then totally send them our way via the Valhalla Raptor hashtag on Twitter or by going to the dedicated pictures channel on our Discord. And you can join the Discord via the link in the pinned comments. Be sure you accept the rules and then you are able to post. Okay, Joyce, we got more shots from the festival, so I'm curious to see them. Let's get into it. Yes. Hello, hello. Also, first off, thank you so much, guys, for sending so many festival pictures. I had a lot to choose from, but <laughs> here are some great ones. We start with... Oyosusisko. Over on Discord, where Eivor is in a standoff with an enemy while using the new one-handed sword. Interesting mix of armor set, by the way, with the Vinland armor, but a different kind of cloak. Is that the modern day one? Yeah, yeah, it's from the Abstergo, yeah. I see a lot of people use that because it's like the only legit cloak was it red I once without a uh, cape, so I think it's pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, it seems that they are evenly matched here, though, with both using a one-handed sword, so uh, good luck. <laughs> Next up is Ventina over on Twitter, who's showing off the new hairstyle and tattoo set you can get at the Sigur Blood Festival. Now that I see the full thing, I mean, it looks even more amazing. Also love the accessories and the hairdo. Now to find an armor set where you can actually see the tattoos a bit, like on the arm. Oh, you yeah. also you have, you have like the, the, these armor sets, they cover up the whole arm. Like, guys, we want some open you know, there. That, that would actually be a good one. I hope we see that in the future. And we end the round of pictures with President Pudding over on Discord where Eivor backstabbed the enemy with the one-handed sword. Uh, looks really painful with the blood spatter around the stomach area. Also very badass move, not gonna lie, gonna try that out myself. Imagine doing that while dual wielding the swords. Oh, uh, I can't wait for the dual wield swords, but Siege of Paris still pretty far away. Although we're getting close, I can't pretty wait. When we, when we know more, we'll of course let you know here. So totally subscribe for more Valhalla content. Like on the video would really help us out. Check out our previous video by clicking on the screen and goodbye. Goodbye.